Keeping your shot in focus is something you'll spend most of your time as a camera operator doing. Some cameras and lenses are easier to focus than others, and as we saw in the episode on aperture, the f-stop your lens is at can make a big difference as well. Autofocus systems are becoming more and more advanced all of the time, which can be a great help in some situations. But whether you're using autofocus, focusing manually yourself, or even if you have a focus puller on set with you, you'll need to have a basic understanding of what focus is and what it can achieve. So let's look at a diagram. Here's the camera, and this box represents what's in focus, referred to as your depth of field. As you turn the focus wheel on your lens, the area that's in focus is gonna get further away or closer to the camera, depending on which way you turn. The further away from this box something in your shot is, the more out of focus it will be. Also, it's worth noticing that the closer to the camera you focus, the smaller your depth of field becomes. We use several terms to describe how big this box is and therefore how much of your shot is in focus. Deep and shallow. A shot with deep focus will have a wider depth of field and a lot more of the shot in focus. This has several advantages. Firstly, it's easier to get the shot in focus in the first place, and also your subject will have space to move around a bit without going in and out of focus. Notice though that the background in this shot isn't very out of focus at all. The opposite is a shot with shallow focus. This means that a very small amount of your shot will be in focus. Now this is often something that's actually very desirable because it's an easy way of making your shot more visually pleasing and more importantly, it isolates your subject. This means that the audience will be looking at exactly the part of the image you want them to be. It does mean though that it will be harder to not only get in focus to start with, but to keep focus as the action happens and your subject moves. Several factors dictate how deep or shallow the focus in your shot will be. The first is the aperture that you set on your lens. A low aperture, f1.8 or f2.8 for example, will give you really shallow focus. Whereas if you use a higher aperture, like f11 or f16, it will mean you'll have more of your shot in focus. Your focal length will also have a big impact. f1.4 at 24 mm for example, will have a deeper depth of field than f1.4 at 100 mm. So the wider your shot, the deeper your focus will be no matter the aperture your lens is at. Sensor size also plays a big part. You'll often hear people saying that they prefer a full frame sensor so they can get lovely shallow depth of field. But that's because the larger your sensor is, the shallower your focus will be. That does of course mean though that it will be harder to keep your images in focus, so there is always a trade-off. And it's also worth mentioning that you can still get shallow depth of field with a smaller sensor. You might just happen to open up your aperture slightly wider or zoom in more than you would have to with a larger sensor. So now we know how to change your focus and what affects how much depth of field you have, but what should you focus on? As a camera operator, you want to keep your focus on your subject. Use it to tell the audience where to look. If it's a wide shot and you want the audience to examine the location and the setting, then make sure that everything in that shot is in focus. But if you want them to be looking at one person in particular, you want to lower that aperture and keep the focus on them while letting everything else fall out of focus behind them. One last quick handy tip is that if you're doing a close-up or an interview, maybe a shot like this one right now, and you're wondering whereabouts to focus on, always go for the subject's eyes. If the eyes of the person you're listening to aren't in focus, then something is going to feel very odd for the audience. If you have any questions at all about focus or anything else that we cover here on the channel, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.